Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a what's really in my bag video because I think they're a lot of fun and as opposed to the very neat and organised what's in my bag where people show what stuff they put in their bags. This is like a nice contrast because it's completely, there could be anything in my bag. There could be some really embarrassing stuff, there could be some really silly stuff, there could be some really practical stuff. I just, I have no idea what's in my bag. So let's have a peek. So my bag is the Lush Fighting Animal Testing Bag, which I absolutely love. It is such a huge bag, like it carries a lot of stuff. Like my bag must weigh a couple of kilograms at least, probably like five kilograms, maybe more. This bag can take so much, like so much. I'm worried it's gonna break, but it hasn't. Um, and it's got a really cool pocket inside, so it's good. And then I have my knot wrap tied around it, which is a knot wrap from Japan. And it's got like loads of cherry blossoms and stuff on it, it's really cute. So we have a pencil case. And this is a batik design, which I got when I lived in Malaysia. Just a couple of pens, a hair tie. Then I have um, headphones, which are not attached to my iPod. Um, my Lush tin containing my Lush deodorant, which is Aromaco, which I have been loving. Like seriously, it's, I just use this now basically. And whenever I have to switch and use my old spray-on deodorant, I notice a huge difference. My pain medication for my wisdom teeth. I have my Clash of Kings, Game of Thrones book. Um, this is the second book. I got through the first book finally on my holiday and immediately started reading the second one. And I freaking love it. It's just, I love reading and but for some reason the first book just took me so, so long to get through. Um, but I'm finally on this book and I'm so happy. I feel like I'm finally making progress. I love the series and I am late to the game in getting to read the books. Like I said, I did have the book for ages, but I just couldn't find the time to read it or get into it properly. And then I had a week off on holiday and I did nothing but read and chill with my family. Didn't go on the internet at all. You know, kind of just read whenever I had a possibility. Finally, I finished the whole book and now I'm making quite a good progress on this, I think. I need to get really more like bedtime, tube journeys. This is my thing. I have my iPod charger, which is attached to my spare charging battery thing because I keep forgetting to charge my iPod and going to use it and then it being flat. And it's all right now that I've been reading but generally speaking, when I have to go on the tube, I hate not having something to listen to, but like I said, now that I'm reading, it's not too bad, but this is still a must have. I have a receipt for m &S. Everything in this bag is from when I went to work last. Everything is like as it is. Everything is just left in my bag. So I thought, packing my bag for tomorrow for work, and I thought I would share everything that's in it. So everything's completely untouched. Anyway, um, m &S is right next to Lush on Oxford Street, so I sometimes go there for lunch. I have my purse, which I freaking adore. I had a purse that was brown, it was really cute, but very small, and I'd had it since I was in about year 10. So, gosh, when was that? Like, I don't know, five, six years ago. And it's lasted me a long time, but that was great when, you know, I only had like a debit card and I have only ever had like maybe a note in there at a time and maybe a couple of coins and it was it was okay but now that I'm working, now that I'm going places doing things and I have different cards for different places it just wasn't cutting it and it broke and I was at the airport and I just needed something and Accessorize was there and I saw this and at first I wasn't in love with the colour it's kind of like a khaki greeny olive colour but now I, now I love it. It's so good. They call it the utility purse or something and it it is because you've got this compartment here which I store things when I need them quickly like when I was on holiday I used it for my room card because you need to get to it really quickly but then you open it up and you have like all these compartments 
um, I keep my ID in here so I can just like flash it at people be like, freeze, pug. I have all my cards, cards, ticket stubs and stuff in here, my notes and gun receipts. So I love that and that was £15 which is the most I've ever spent for a purse but it's so good and I'm, I don't, you know, the quality of it's great. I have a notepad book thing. I use this for ideas for videos, blogs, training for work. I have loads of it is filled up with blush training. Another M&S receipt. Hair tie. Blush sample pots. A kinder egg thing and it's not even got a toy in it. It's just empty. I don't even know the last time I had a kinder egg. Starbucks receipt. Another Starbucks receipt. Tissues. Actually these are really handy so I'm glad to find something useful in here spare headphones because I've had the spongy bit come off my headphones too many times and that is uncomfortable because you can still listen to music but it's just not the same. So aggravating. Um, also I've had headphones break in the middle of being like on the way home and just like because <sighs> you have headphones but they're broken. Yeah so I keep these ones as spare. I hate these headphones. I hate these headphones with a passion don't fit your ears properly. I don't think they're good quality headphones either. Um, but they're in my bag just in case because better to have crap headphones than no headphones at all. Another sample pot of hairbrush that needs cleaning. Um, a little baggie with some green tea or white tea. Some, some sort of tea. Tissues from prep because I always hold tissues because I'm always like, oh, I'll never know when I'll need to bite my nose or something. And they just get dirty in the bottom of my bag. So now no one can use them. Another MS receipt. My iPod, which is my absolute child. This is the 160 gigabyte one, which is huge. You can put film on there, music, like to your heart's content. I haven't filled this yet. Um, I've halfway filled this, so that's a lot, that's a lot of music on there. Um, which is great because I have a lot of music and it doesn't fit on my phone. I can only get a few songs on my phone and plus I just don't like using my phone for music so I have this Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. This palette is my favourite palette. I don't really go anywhere without this palette. There's a couple of colours that I just always use every day no matter what. I have my Melt eyeshadow stack with a penny attached to the bottom two pence piece to be exact. Tampon because you never know when you might need one. I also try to carry extras just in case someone needs one. I just think it's one of those things. We got we got to stick out for each other, look out for each other. I have a label from a Lush product. It's all disgusting. I have another tampon. More Lush pots. My cute umbrella. I think this is so cute. It's got little foxes on them and the foxes have scarves. Probably helps if I turn it that way up. Little scarves. And I got that from Sainsbury's. I have a lip lather from Makeup Revolution. I like this because I can just use this anytime basically. It goes with so many looks. So it's good to just throw in my bag. Another tampon. A Tesco's voucher. A bit of plastic. Yeah. Big thing of extra gum. Um because obviously working with people I like my breath to be quite fresh. Another lid. Um a thing of Vaseline, but it's not Vaseline, it's the super drop one with a little green tin. This is quarterly free, so that's why I carry it. Some cold and flu tablets because it's cold and flu season, a lot of people are getting sick. I keep these on me for other people, but also I keep these on me because they have paracetamol and ca caffeine in them, so they're good for people who are generally just sick. I have miles of smiles in my bag because sometimes I take my toothbrush with me if I remember to pack it in the morning. Sometimes I don't. But these are also good to chew on. You can just chew them in your mouth. Stick a bit of water in your mouth and make it into like a mouthwash. And this is my Lush Anyard, which I wear with pride. A coffee thing from McDonald's because that's the only thing I get from there. Cooperative voucher thing. Cooperative receipt. Holland Barrett club card thing. Another tampon. Santa's lip scrub because my lips have been getting dry and I love the flavour of this. Hair tie. We have a Lush pencil. 
I have some stamps because often I will realize that I need to write to someone and I'll do it on the train. My Oyster card holder and this is the burger and lobster one. My sister gave me that. I just thought it was really cute. And yeah, just got my Oyster card in there and my rail card. Very attractive photo, I'm not going to show it to you. Okay, I'm going to show it to you. So attractive. So moody. Another thing of gum. I have my little travel size alien perfume. Because, and then the rest of the stuff that's in my bag is just crap. Little bits of food and plastic. Ugh. I need to wash this. I like ASAP. So yeah. That is what was really in my bag. Um, I do take things out of my bag, but sometimes it's just like little things that get buried at the bottom of the bag, tucked in like a little corner or something, or you just miss it. But yeah, so please don't judge me too harshly. I challenge you to share what's really in your bag, and I hope you like this video. Um, thank you so much for watching and supporting me. It means the world to me. Take care and stay fabulous.